Hi everybody, join me as I clean and decorate my house for Christmas. I can't wait to get the decorations all down and just really make the house all magical and get excited for Christmas. I'm so excited this year because I think the kids are at such a cute age for Christmas. So my daughter Amelia, she is five years old and my little boy Theo, he is nearly two years old. So he's really gonna understand and get Christmas a little bit more this year. So we're just gonna be tidying up the front room and this is where the Christmas tree goes in the corner by the window. So we're just gonna give it all a quick tidy and clean, obviously before we get the decorations out, just so there's some order and also there's some space as well. We're gonna be popping away this ball pit. And to be honest, I'm not sure after Christmas we're gonna be putting this back, even though my daughter Amelia does want to keep it. I just think we kind of need the space. They're gonna get so many more, you know, lovely toys for Christmas. Um, that I think we're actually going to probably get rid of the ball pit and we have had this for years so they have definitely enjoyed it. Um, one of my new purchases is a tree skirt this year so that's something I really wanted for our tree. We've had our tree gosh about three or four years I think now. I think I definitely want to upgrade our tree and I'll be looking in the January sales if um, I can find one that I like potentially in the sale. I'd like to maybe get a new one. Um, just, I think our one, I think, is a five foot tree. So I think I want one maybe six or six and a half foot. So a little bit bigger, a little bit taller. And this one is quite old. I just don't think it looks very realistic. Um, but it's nice, it's a nice tree and it will do for now. So just speeding up this process, which is the fluffing out of the tree, so that is now done. And I just wanna share with you also this hack that I learned, and that is to wrap your Christmas lights around an old sort of um, toilet roll holder. So we've got, that's a kitchen roll holder, so it's a bit longer. So all of the lights were wrapped around that. So I obviously thanked myself for doing that last year because it meant obviously the process of unwrapping my lights was so, so easy. Obviously don't forget to check if they actually work still before you put them on your Christmas tree. But we'll just turn them on now just to see if there's any gaps or anywhere that need filling. So now we're gonna be obviously putting on the decorations and my daughter Amelia is so excited to help this year, which is so, so cute. She hasn't really wanted to help in previous years. So it's so nice that we can do this together. A Christmas song. So as I said, Theo is nearly two years old, so he's two in January. Um, so all of most of our decorations are plastic, so not breakable ones because I just I'm not sure what he's going to be like come Christmas with the tree and um, so Amelia's just popping the star on top so she really enjoyed doing that um, but yeah so we're not sure what he's going to be like with the tree um, and if he's going to pull half the ball balls off or not so we just yeah as I said it's the first year he's going to properly be into Christmas and understand a little bit more so I'm just unpacking a little bit more decorations and come across the advent calendar of books so Amelia's had this for a couple of years now but obviously getting it out each year it still feels quite brand new to her so each day is a different book to read so she's so excited for the Christmas tree and it looks really really good in that corner but as you can see I do think we can go a little bit bigger um, of a tree so yeah that's what I'm on the hunt for in the January sales. Next I am moving on to the fireplace and I love dressing the fireplace for Christmas. It really does make it feel really, really Christmassy. It's obviously the sort of centerpiece of our room. And um, so I'm just tidying that up. And whilst I'm doing this, Amelia is going to be um, having a little go at putting this together for me. So this actually used to be mine when I was younger and I used to love putting the kind of shepherds out with the sheep. So basically it's kind of Jesus, Mary and Joseph kind of in the barn scene. Um, so yeah, Amelia's gonna be setting that all up and she enjoys doing that. Um, and that will just go on the side. Um, but before that, I'm just gonna give the 
the fireplace a real quick clean so obviously we can dress that for Christmas. So I've actually got two garlands that I want to intertwine just to make it look a bit fuller. Um, I did have one of these on here last year and one in the kitchen, but I think they look much nicer and fuller um, intertwined all together. We've just found our old Santa pictures, obviously visiting Santa. So we're just having a little look through those and we're so excited to obviously add our new picture this year when we go to see Santa in a few weeks time. So this is such a sentimental piece. Last year I got the kids footprints and this is the plate that we leave out for Santa. So and obviously we leave a carrot for the reindeer and a drink for Santa on the plate as well. So yeah, that is a very lovely piece that we can get out each year. We've got our stockings also. So I think these were just from B&M last year. So obviously we got a new set because we got one for Theo as well. So we're all matching now. And that is the fireplace, which looks really, really good. I'm moving on now to the hallway. And again, this becomes a little bit of a dumping ground. So I just wanted to give this a real quick tidy and clean, obviously before I decorate. And I keep this quite simple by just having this really small, um, Christmas tree on the side and then some of the kids artwork as well from last year which I really like to display so that's their hand prints as obviously reindeer. Another area that we like to decorate is obviously our dining area. Obviously we're in here quite a lot so we want it to look and feel very Christmassy in here too. So I'm just going to be again tidying up the, the smaller fireplace that we've got here and then just adding a few decor pieces we've got some of those small christmas trees and ornaments and then i thought hanging this here would look really really nice over the mirror so i really like that too and then th we've got some advent calendars for the kids and i bought these last year in primark and they're um, mickey and minnie mouse advent calendars so they're a disney advent calendar and they're like a wooden one where you can obviously add your own chocolates or kind of little toys or whatever you want to add to it and um, so I thought we'll just add some chocolates into those each year and I just think they look really really nice and I just like the idea of obviously reusing it each year so we've added obviously all the decorations out that we want to and we're just going to be popping away a few of the decor pieces in those boxes to store for Christmas um, and then now we're just going over our kind of sentimental decorations with all our years on it. So we've obviously got our wedding one, we've got dates that we sort of got engaged and married, and obviously we've got one to the kids as well. So I really like looking through all of these year on year and obviously adding to them as well of all the special dates and memories that we have together. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please obviously do remember to give a thumbs up and a like for me. I've got lots of Christmassy content coming up so if you like that sort of thing then please do stick around for that and hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.